Deep sleep is but a magical journey and sleep story away. Relax and unwind in this guided bedtime meditation and story for grown-ups. You are listening to Rainy Night on a Luxury Train. In this story, we venture back to the golden age of train travel on the 20th Century Limited. The luxury Pullman train connecting New York's Grand Central Terminal to the heart of Chicago. Considered the Queen Mary of the rails, you board the night train and enjoy the decadent bar car while looking out on scenery of fall foliage and Hudson River views. You may bring along anyone you wish as this visualization has room for a beloved companion to travel through time with you. The hypnotic motion of the train lulls you into deep relaxation. And as it rains, you retreat to your cozy sleeping car to retire for the night. Far from the cares of the modern world, you relish the quietude as you drift asleep on this journey through time. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you are listening, you may think of my voice as that of your trusted friend and guide. This time is for you, and throughout the story, you may customize the experience to what best suits you. And at any point should sleep beckon to you. You are free to let go of my voice and return to listen to the ending in the future. Find a safe and comfortable place to snuggle up and settle in. Wiggle out any impressions of your day and adjust your pillows and blankets just right. And in the sanctuary of your womb and the sanctuary of your mind, you are in a safe place to let down your guard and embrace your imagination for all the beautiful experiences and feelings that it may conjure. Too often, the imagination is used for worry. But all your concerns can wait for another time. Because right now, the only thing you need to do is feel good. You have earned the sacred time for rest and peace by making it through yet another day in your life. Everything that does not make you feel at ease can wait until another time. Take in a deep breath and fill your abdomen and chest with so much air that if you were nestled within a bouquet of balloons, you would be the balloon that breaks away towards the clear sky. And then sigh out your breath, making a sound if that helps, and feel your belly sink and your body become heavy. Take in another breath, and this time when your lungs are filled to their utmost capacity, you open your mouth into a generous yawn that turns into a big sigh. It signals to your body that you are tired and you are ready for sleep. 
return your breath to normal. Your body is soft and light as if you could float away. You visualize a long dark tunnel that is a portal to another place and time. You feel yourself floating down, down, down through this mystical blue-black space like Alice falling down the rabbit hole to Wonderland. You continue to drift until you hear the click of your heels as they land on the marble steps of Grand Central Station. It is the autumn of 1938, just months after the debut of the new 20th Century Limited, a redesigned streamliner train used for an overnight hop between New York and Chicago. The air smells of urban life, of ladies' perfume and popcorn and baked goods and shoe polish. It is the city's potpourri found on 42nd Street, the heart of the melting pot of Manhattan. In terms of platforms, the Beau Arts Depot is the largest train station in the world. You pause on the stairs, taking in the grandeur of the station. The station gleams in gilded light that pours through the windows around the domed ceiling. This light matches the warm lights of opulent chandeliers that hang throughout the atrium. The celestial mural on the ceiling is a faded blue and you look to Orion strong and courageously drawn in the heavenly sky. You watch people come and go, commuters and international travelers, dressed in their finest suits and tailored dresses. Women wear jewel-toned velvet hats over their perfectly coiffed hairstyles and the men are in top hats that match their wool trench coats. Young boys in newsboy caps and overalls are scattered about the station, selling the late afternoon editions of the Times. You walk through the atrium and see the iconic four-faced clock, so famous it inspired the saying, Meet me at the clock. In this pre-digital age, the charm of arranged meeting places warms your heart. How fulfilling it is to step back in time. A boyish sailor and pretty young woman in a garnet wool coat run towards each other and passionately embrace one another beneath the clock. Twenty minutes to five, and your companion for this journey is due to meet you. You watch the constant incoming tide of commuters arriving in diverse waves of people from all walks of life. You catch a reflection in the bronze-framed glass of a closed teller window. You are dressed in a perfectly tailored overcoat and your best garments to be worn at dinner. A hat sits on your neatly styled hair and the essence of you is still present regardless of the fashion of the time. And then something in the air changes and your body begins to tingle. 
you feel their presence with a deep knowing before even seeing them. Your connection to this person is so strong that you can travel throughout time and still feel when they are near. You turn towards the clock and your companion on this journey is standing, circling slowly and looking to spot you in the crowd. And then you catch one another's gaze. You both pause in awe that you have reconnected in this busy, magical place. This companion could be someone you have not seen in a long time, or who has passed, who you have a romantic connection with, or perhaps it is a relative or dear friend. Or maybe it is someone imagined, who you long to meet. This choice is yours on this venture, and now it has become a reality. You walk towards them, clutching the train tickets for the both of you in one gloved hand and your luggage in the other. Both of your faces explode in toothy smiles with joy so infectious that even the most hurried commuters Stop to observe and grin. You hug one another tightly, and the golden light swirls around you in what feels like a destined moment. An amplified voice announces the boarding of Train 25 to Chicago and you and your companion head towards the track. When you arrive, red cap attendants roll out a crimson carpet with a center banner in bold art deco lettering that reads 20th Century Limited. A conductor checks your tickets, and you are led by a Pullman porter to your sleeping car who carries both of your luggage. You feel your feet sink into the plush red carpet that is the length of a football field and runs from the observation car to the engine. Sixteen hours of decadence and relaxation await you on a train that will take the water level route along the Hudson River and the shores of Lake Erie. There is a buzz of attention up ahead, where one of the most famous movie stars of the time is waving and smiling at the Pullman employees and adoring travelers who stop and wave. Yet your attention is on your dear companion who at this moment provides you with the same adoring rush that fans feel for the famous star. There's nowhere else you would rather be right now than walking down the red carpet next to the gleaming silver streamliner. The porter leads you up the recently polished stairs, his feet clanking on each step and your luggage shuffling through the narrow door. You feel the familiar excitement that comes at the beginning of a trip, not knowing how things will play out. But the moment carries the certainty that this will be an adventure that leaves an indelible mark on the timeline of your life. You extend your arm and invite your companion to board first and then follow behind. You walk down a narrow corridor to your suite 
and the porter opens the door into a charming room. With two perfectly made beds and armchairs in warm hues, you are made to feel at home. The curtains are drawn, incarnations and a bottle of perfume that are token gifts on the luxury liner are arranged on a bed table. The porter leaves offering to be at your service should any needs arise. You and your companion wash up and unpack your bare essentials before the train leaves the station. You are refreshed and properly groomed for a fine dining experience. Together you leave the room to explore the bar car. As you walk through the long narrow passageway, occasionally overhearing the joyous laughter and excited conversation from fellow passengers exploring their suites. You arrive at the cozy bar car where a handful of passengers have gathered and socialized. You sit by the window on a settee with your companion. When a waiter asks what suits your fancy, you ask for something sweet and soothing. The train begins to leave the station and a horn blows. Loved ones of departing passengers stand on the platform and wave handkerchiefs and blow kisses as they say goodbye to the night train. Through the darkness of the tunnels, right away the rocking motion and gentle rhythmic sounds of the train begin to reset the mood. The waiter brings you and your companion an imported English tea that is the right amount of sweet and perfectly warm temperature. You slowly sip the tea and observe the other travelers in the car, some speaking languages you do not understand. And yet everyone is joined together in an experience where words do not matter. Collectively in motion, you are joined by the contagious sense of joy and anticipation of what is to come. Before long, the train has escaped the urban landscape and runs parallel to the Hudson River. The sun begins its descent across the river, dipping beyond the horizon and casting the water in honeyed light. Riding past the silvery gray mountain walls of Breakneck Ridge, you sink into the chair and take in the views from the panoramic windows. It is the peak season for autumn leaves. And you feel as if you are traveling through an oil painting. Dappled with vibrant tones of marigold and fiery orange and magenta and chartreuse from the changing leaves, the vista is breathtaking. The rich clusters of colorful leaves reflect on the rippling waves of the Hudson. While brisk outside, you are warm inside the train. You enjoy the sensation of tea cascading down your throat and the softness of the plush seat that forms around your body. You and your companion catch up in a way that is always easy, always as if no time has passed. You can just pick up where you left off. 
which is made all the more fascinating in the fluidity of time and this experience that has brought you back to 1938. Darkness sets in and storm clouds overtake the twilight sky. You watch the purple-gray underbellies of the ominous clouds and have the same excitement about the rain as a schoolchild excited about an imminent snowstorm and possible snow day. There's something romantic and cozy about traveling through the night on the 20th century limited. You and your companion rise to head towards the Century Club for dinner. The Art Deco room has glass walls that separate diners and shiny chrome accents around the windows and doors. Female patrons are cloaked in opulent jewels and silk dresses, while the men are in three-piece suits with perfectly arranged bow ties. You feel taller and more confident in this era and walk with a sense of purpose inspired by your attire and the strong desires of others to strive for the best. There is a kindred spirit of those traveling on the night train. The brevity of life is meant for celebration and joy and moments shared with those you love most. You and your companion are seated by the window again, eye level with the Hudson River, and beneath the magnanimous plum gray mountainous peaks speckled with jewel-toned trees. At times the river flows so closely it feels as though you are floating up it on a boat. The first drops of rain begin to splatter against the window when a waiter arrives with the menu. You take in a deep breath and inhale the aroma of rich, savory meals and baked apples and the fresh floral centerpiece on your table. Your hands rest on the cream linen tablecloth and the waiter places a cloth napkin on your lap. The silver play settings are cool to the touch and heavy in your hand. You run your finger over the engraving NYC and take in every detail of the warm glow of the room. Wishing to encapsulate this entire experience in the deep files of your mental Rolodex is a great reminder that life is rich and fun and full of adventure. Your meal arrives and you and your companion ask questions of one another that are deep and meaningful. Being in a new place and time invites curiosity with the freedom to have an open heart and a candid exchange for the conversation to flow like the melody of a song. Music plays from a Victrola with a crackling analog sound adding extra warmth to the popular jazz songs that play on. Time feels different. Hours flowing like rivers of amber honey and moments are richly enhanced by twinkling eyes and relaxed smiles, by the clinking of glasses and celebratory toasts, and by the continued sound of the train chugging towards a new destination. Feeling full and content you leave the Century Club 
And while you walk through the cars, you are soothed by the persistent chugging sounds and vibrations of the train. You and your loved one arrive at the observation car. Alone in the quietude of the car, you both watch the rain streak down the windows. Take a seat in the posh leather armchairs. You sink into the buttery soft cushion. The car is aglow with soft warm lights decorated with chrome fixtures and dotted with small elegant silver tables. A black and white rendition of the New York City skyline covers the wall at the front of the car where a buffet seat looks over the room. There is a nostalgic charm to the 20th Century Limited that you experience as a traveler from the future. Yet you feel the enthusiasm of those living in this era. Their spirits elevated by modern advancements in a new world. Optimism and innovation are strong motivators to come from the future bearing the wisdom that the tender moments of exchange with your companion outshine all the latest in technology. For in the future you have longed for the sense of connection for being unplugged and being present to this moment. You and your companion sit, rocking back and forth with the gentle motion of the train. You inhale the fresh air, hinted by the sweet decay of fall, the clean aroma of rain, and the mineral smell of fresh water from a continuous flow of fresh air pumped into the train car. You ground yourself in what is permanent throughout time and the human experience. Feelings of love, of hope, of longing, Earthly pleasures like seasonal changes and mountain air. Universal questions about the purpose of one's life and fulfilling it. And these thoughts that you share with your companion somewhere else in time are simply ideas that float away. The feelings behind them ground you in a knowing that you are not alone. These feelings are timeless and they are part of the experience of life. Where you are here to learn, to feel, and to grow each moment of life. You are like the night train passing through space and time. You watch the tracks, slick and glistening in the rain, like horizontal ladders that have become the arteries and veins that link together the souls of vibrant cities. You sit back and find yourself growing tired. With a silent exchange, you look into the eyes of your fellow traveler and they nod. Together you rise to retire in your suite. Once again, you rock gently to and fro as you walk through the train cars to your sleeper car, finding your balance with each step. The train is reminiscent of a great vessel like the Queen Mary. It 
you close your eyes, it feels like you are riding gently on the waves. You open the door into the room and notice the porter has pulled back your bedding and left mints on your pillow. You go to the washroom where your silk pajamas hang on a satin plush hanger. You wash your face with French lavender soap and inhale the soporific fragrance. You change out of your formal attire and feel your waist and body let go and melt into the forgiving, loose bedtime garments. You brush your teeth with toothpaste that is enclosed in a shiny aluminum container and relish the minty tingle in your mouth. You look into the glamorous gold-framed mirror and see yourself beyond the period clothes and hairstyle. For the second time on this journey, you connect with a part of you that is permanent the vibrant essence of your spirit. Your companion readies for bed as well. They return to their bed as you comfortably settle into the crisp cotton sheets of the bed by the window. You draw open the curtains to watch the glittering ebony water beneath the steady patter of rain. The headlights of the train and the golden glow of the train cars provide the only light to be found in the rural darkness. You look to your beloved and thank them for joining you on this journey and for being such a valuable part of your deepest, most cherished memories including this journey on a train. You turn off the lights and your head sinks into the softest, plushest pillow you have ever slept upon. It contours around your neck and your body is massaged by the continuous motion of the train and vibrations on the tracks. The rain continues to fall and the 20th century limited like a silver bullet travels through the blue-black darkness beneath a sky of charcoal gray clouds. Like rain on a tin roof, the melodic sounds against the shiny new train help you drift towards sleep. And in the dreams to come, you may waft through time, through space, through memories and hopes, and through the deepest parts of you. The train tracks are the artery that leads to your heart transporting you through a portal that brings clarity, rest, and a connection to your highest self. For like an internal flame that blazes brightly, no matter what may change through time, that part of you is eternal. You may drift away from my voice, letting the hypnotic sounds of the rain on a night train lull you to sleep. And I am going to count you down to a night of deeply restorative sleep. Ten. Nine. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding rest, finding bliss, finding peace, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.